Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I want to take a quick look at a calendar and task manager application for Android called Pocket Informant. It was originally developed for Windows Mobile and then for BlackBerry and iOS, and it's been in beta testing for a couple of months, and recently uh, the full version came out. It's available for $5.99 from the Android market. And while Google uh, released or uh, has its own calendar application, which is pretty decent and synchronizes with Google Calendar, uh, there are a couple of features in here that are just really impressive. There's so many features, actually, I'm barely even going to scrape the surface here, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Um, so first of all, you'll notice that in the week view, there are actually multiple options to the week view. Uh, this is the one I like because it sort of gives you a week at a glance, which is something that you can't get from the standard Google Calendar. But you can go into settings, go to events, calendar, actually, no, I want to go to week view, and I can choose whether I want seven day, five day, three day weeks, or I can do uh, seven day in four rows here. Uh, don't think I did that right. Uh, events, week view, view mode, seven day horizontal, I think that's what I meant. Okay. And now we wind up with something that's a little bit closer to what you would see from the Google Calendar. Um, but again, it's a little bit different. You can see that not only can you scroll up and down, but there's persistent uh, bar here at the top showing that, for example, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And uh, there's a farmer's market that I wanted to make a note of, and so I copied and pasted some text. These are uh, some of the more appointments that I created using Google Calendar on the uh, web-based interface, and they showed up automatically here. But I can edit them, I can delete them, and so forth. And the edit view has a lot of options. One option that you won't find on the default Android uh, Google Calendar, I can actually change which calendar this shows up in. Um, Okay, this is a bad example because it's a repeating appointment. Uh, let's pick uh, an appointment like this one here. Edit. And I can change it to the pocket informant calendar, uh, my default calendar, or so forth. So everything's color-coded, uh, synchronizes automatically with Google Calendar. Now there's also a task manager which synchronizes with an online service called Toodle Do, and you can set this up in a number of different ways as well. So for instance, I can show just a plain list like I had there. I like to see all of my tasks at a glance. You can hide hidden tasks or show hidden tasks. We can group them by status so that now when I go back, Um, you can see just numbers here on the side. So we've got undated, overdue, not completed, etc. So due today, undated, and so forth. You can delete all completed from here, or you can quickly get to the settings. You can also group by category, by context, by action, uh, or by project. Let's go back to plain list. And again, you can see that there are many, many different options here. You can hide future tasks or not, you can use due dates or not, and so forth. Uh, set the default start time or end time for tasks, and you can choose whether or not you want tasks to show up in the calendar. Uh, because there's not really a ton of room in the calendar, I uh, tend not to do that. But um, Another neat thing here is that you can actually show in the month view text. That's something that the default Google Calendar will show you if there's busy time or non-busy time, but because the calendar view is kind of crowded, even on a high-resolution screen, um, it might choose not to show text. But if you'd prefer to see the text, um, it'll cut it off here, but you can see my father's birthday is coming up, there's a concert I want to go to, and so forth, and I can tell what the appointments are right here. You can also scroll up here so that when I click on a specific item uh, or a specific date, you can see the appointments, and again, you can tap them to get more information. There's a sort of agenda view here. I've shown you multiple week views. Um, there is also here, actually that's the day view. Here's the agenda view. And for the agenda view, it'll show you, starting at a certain date, a whole bunch of upcoming appointments.
You can change your synchronization settings, choose whether or not to synchronize with Toodledo, um, and you can choose how often it'll synchronize with Toodledo. You can choose uh, whether you, uh, where you want the toolbar to show up when you're in portrait mode or landscape mode. So for instance, you can change it so that the toolbar is on the top instead of the bottom, which sort of looks wrong to me, but you can do that. Um, and there's also a landscape mode, so... You can see it does sometimes take a little while to load some of these. And uh, some of the appointments, because they're being pulled in from the default Google Calendar, might take a few moments, but... Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the application. Go back here to Calendar Settings... I want Week View Settings... I'm going to go back to 7-Day Classic. And I'm going to go to the week view now. You can see that, again, the layout has changed to some degree here. Um, so, uh, there you go. That's a first look at Pocket Informant, the full version of the app. It's available for $5.99 from the Android market. Uh, it's an introductory price, so it might go up at some point. But uh, it's a pretty full-featured and uh, rather impressive application. You can cycle through the different views here. So, uh, as I was saying, a, a pretty you know impressive full-featured calendar task manager application for Google Android. This is Brad Linder with Mobiputing.